You mentioned like kind of it's the whirlwind. Have you been able to process like this whole thing yet? Have you been able to like, are you just, are you just so busy that you're just go, go, go? I, I'm trying, I'm trying to process it, uh, but we are extremely busy. You know, we, we had, we had, when we got into the building the first time and got to meet everybody, uh, that was a really cool moment, but it only lasted about two minutes and then right. we were up on the whiteboard, you know, uh, attacking the staff and, and trying to trying to get a, uh, a head up on the competition. Still uh, meeting people when you come in this room here. That's so right. That's I mean, right. Uh, remembering names, all that stuff. That's that's the the new job kind of stuff. I'm huh? trying. At night, I got a I got a sheet of everybody's names and their pictures and stuff. So I'm trying. To, it's like right. mental flashcards. So right. I'm working through that now. So you're in the process of hiring staff. Uh, that's like kind of the first thing a, co a new coach needs to do. You got to get some people around you that can help you. Um, when I won't ask you about specific names because I know you want to answer those kind of questions. But what are you looking for in terms of a mix of staff? Like like-minded people, experience, do you want that mix? What, what, what kind of thing are you looking for when you try to hire a staff? Right. Yeah, for the it, first time, by the way. That's right, that's <laughs> right. I mean, it's a, this is an important process because this, this is the foundation of our program, of the, of the, really the initial hires too. So they're gonna help build the culture that we're trying to build as well. Um, so th this first step is about getting the right people on the bus. And you're right, it's gonna be, we do wanna, an eclectic mix of people and different backgrounds and expertises and personalities. Uh, but the principles of the matter are high character individuals, people that are going to invest in our players and uh, be great teachers and obviously, you know, schematically uh, advanced as well and bring that type of expertise to the table. So what's it like to be on the interviewing side, the <laughs> question side of things as opposed to, hey, I'm being interviewed. Yeah, things. that's different, right? The, the tables have turned. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And I think you, you go in with that line of questioning and just trying to figure out who they are and what makes them tick. Uh, the rest of the stuff you can feel like you can kind of get to, but you, you really want to find the right people that you want to work with. Uh, speaking of that, one of the guys I do want to ask you about is Leslie Frazier and your relationship with him and what kind of what he'll bring to the table with all his experience, yeah. head coach experience, D coordinator experience. Played it with the Bears. I mean, come on. Yeah, the 85. <laughs> I'm Bears. old enough to remember that. That's excellent. We we, we gave him we gave him some uh, we gave him a hard time when he was in Baltimore because we pulled up the video of him doing the Super Bowl shuffle. So he's on that video, by the way. So <laughs> no kidding. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah, so that's that we got a good laugh at. But it, it, we have had a relationship for such a long time, and we have such a, a great uh, respect for one another, and have, we have a great relationship that we're going to be able to lean on each other throughout this whole process. But he's seen all these things, mm -hmm. and he can look around the corner and. Um, be a consultant and a partner through this whole, you know, hopefully this long journey that we have together and uh, he's just gonna be a great asset for us. So I'm, I'm really excited to have him. Yeah, so widely respected right across the league. Uh, so we, let's dive into a little bit of how you got here and it's such a, you know, crazy fast whirlwind. I know you don't really wanna hear that term, a fast riser, right? You said that in the yeah, press conference. Right. <laughs> uh, but there was a time, uh, maybe after I think it was Georgia, that you were a little disillusioned with football. What kind of, what kind of switched the light back on for you and, and, and you realized, I, I, I don't know if you ever lost it, but what realized made you realize you wanted to do this again? Well, yeah, and I'd fallen in love with coaching yeah. uh, when I was coaching high school football and it was a long process being, I was in that building for four years, mm. you know, in a, a GA type of role. And uh, I think walking into the building back in Baltimore and being, and being part of that type of culture mm. again and uh, being along with those type of like-minded people that, you know, had a respect for one another and the process and, uh, we were kind of had one common goal together, and I used to really felt, start to feel that juice again, mm. and, uh, and, it, and it snowballed from there. Yeah, and you've, you've taken that. You've sort of taken that the way those, I mean, that's all you've really known, right? The Harbaugh's and the, yeah, way, it's, the yeah, way it's done, absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and like I said in our press conference, that's, that's a, there's a spirit there that's gonna, it's gonna take time to develop, but such a great foundation already in this building. But hopefully, you know, through the conversations and the relationships that we build, that's a spirit that we'll have uh, for a long time uh, here in Seattle. All right, so you've been described as, in your way, please, words, right? Uh, stoic, methodical, yeah. intense, yeah. Uh, a football nerd. I'm, I'm, that's a compliment, I'm sure. Sure. A wizard. Is it, is it the chess that appeal? Is it the kind of the chess game that appeals to you in terms of football, the, the, the nerd kind of stuff? Yeah, I, you know, I, you, you'll get to know my personality, and the yeah. city will understand my personality. And it, I, I would add quirky to that. Like, there's some, okay. some idiosyncrasies. <laughs> there's some idiosyncrasies that are in there. I promise, and uh, and that just comes when you start to get to know people. But yeah. I think those types of uh, characteristics start to show, like when we are doing the job and you are trying to put your team in, in game week. Correct. Yes. Yeah, just in, in position to be successful. So you know that takes a lot of hard work, and you have to be very uh, diligent in what you're doing. 
And I think the guys, you know, that my personality, uh, the exactness of how we're trying to operate, that'll come out and just in, that, in what the team looks like. Mm -hmm. Methodical, that's a good yeah. personality trait to have, right? I, I, mean, I think so. I think the players, I think they respect your consistency. Sure. Yeah, so I mean, if you're a different guy every day, then that's, I think that's a tough ask from, uh, from a leadership mm -hmm. standpoint. Uh, so you'll have your total focus on, in, in your past job, your total focus was on defense, right? Like you had the, the call sheet, you, had the, you were working on adjustments, that kind of thing, defense, defense. Now as a head coach, it'll be a little different. There'll be some fourth down decisions. There'll be some, you know, challenge flags. There'll be, when do we kick it? Uh, you'll sure. be on the refs. You'll have to be, all that extra stuff, um, have you thought in your mind? I mean, we're way, ways away from a yeah, game here. Of course, I mean, yeah, of course. Have, have you about thought it. about like kind of how you're going to, is it, are there going to be growing pains? There's, there's got to be, right? Well, I think you have to be really diligent in how you um, utilize your time and the people throughout the week in terms of going into a mm -hmm. game plan. So you have to have those decisions kind of teed up. And uh, it's going to take a lot of work from now through September to understand how we're going to operate, you know, how the, the flow information is going to work throughout game day, uh, how we're going to create adjustments on defense so I can still, you know, coach the entire football team when the offense is on the field and, and special teams. So. Um, I have an idea of how we're going to do it, but you know how we get to that and who we hire and their roles and how those grow over time. I think that'll start to crystallize, you know, really throughout training camp and as we as we get into the season. Yeah, because I should point out, you said you're still going to call it the defense, so that is a right. big, big thing. And I think a lot of people are like, well, he's he's been great at that for two years, but now we're adding, we're heaping things on top. Yeah, here. This I think is that's head coach job though. Well, I think that's why the defensive staff is so important too. Mm -hmm. So like, we're going to really trust those guys to do a lot of the back work. Um, all the adjustments they'll have to handle throughout the game, and uh, you know, so that's going to be your, a critical hire. Adjustments is something I, I that was a word that stood out. You said you were going to adjust. You said it, it'll, it'll it'll flow. That's a, that's a huge thing in, yeah. in in football. I mean, the adjustments are you hear about it all halftime adjustments, all that. I don't know how much goes into that, but really, what what is your take on that? What do, how do you see that? Is it just play for play? Is it how? trends in the game what do you how do you see that adjustments when you when you hear that word yeah it, well it's critical i mean the game uh games play out differently throughout you know from game to game you just don't know how it's going to play mm -hmm. so i think i think it starts with one having a great understanding of who you are and what you do well and then having an understanding of who the team is that you're playing and how they're trying to attack you mm -hmm. and then that gives you your options on and you know where you want to navigate throughout the game so again it goes down to com communication um through the coaches, through the players, understanding what the mindset is, how you feel like they're attacking you throughout the game, and then how you have to pivot, you know, in order to put, your, in a, put yourself in a position to win the game. So I think a lot of the 12s out there want to know what this is going to look like. They have, they're <laughs> so, I think they're nervous. They're a little kind of apprehensive. Like, what is this going to look like? It's, we've known just one way for 14 years. Yeah. Um, I know you, you really don't know how it's going to look at this point because you don't, kind of know, like you said, you don't know what you're good at yet. Yeah. Uh, but if you had, you know, a crystal ball and looked ahead, what would you say this is going to look like come, uh, come yeah. September? Right. The way I describe it is we want to play a style of football nobody wants to play. So that is an aggressive mindset. Uh, we talk about on defense and offense, it's the same way. We, don't, we want to make it feel like there's 14 guys out there, you know, so you have to be able to play together. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to be physical, mentally tough, physically tough. I and mean, that's how we're going to that's how we're going to practice. I mean, those are going to be the that's going to be the messaging from day one. And uh, it's going to be a process, you know, so it's hard for me to tell everybody exactly what it's going to look like schematically mm -hmm. because uh, we're still working through that right now. But as we as we get through that, there'll be a time and, and people will understand what they're going to what they're going to see out there yeah. on Sundays. We heard Baltimore. Everybody loves hearing it's going to look like Baltimore. And then 14 guys. I think they'll like that, too. That, that's a good. Uh... Yeah. yeah, there's some <laughs> there's some language in there. I can't tell you right now that we'll share with the guys. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, you can you can fill in the blanks. You mean it's like not safe for TV language? Is that <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, so talking about the defense. Uh, I think a lot of the writings, a lot of the people, the pundits out there are saying, well, they probably might be Donald Lynn to, to beat the Niners and beat the Rams. I mean, Sean McVay and, and Kyle Shanahan, these are the guys, these are the innovators on offense. Uh -huh. Whether that's true or not, they, they have had success, especially against the Seahawks in recent years. Uh, what is that, those kind of offenses, what is the best way to shut those kind of offenses down in a general sense? I mean, that's, that's the goal. That's what you want to do, right? Well, that kind of offense, what is the best way? To well, show my it? mentality is we're going to be training and practicing every day to beat everybody. Sure. I mean, that's, what, that's the ultimate goal is to be the, to be the last one remaining. So um, those, those, those particular teams, they do a great job. They've had a great track record. One of them is in the Super Bowl. So, mm -hmm. I mean, those are the guys we're going to have to beat. But uh, if you just design everything just to beat one offense, then, you know, you're not going to be successful. That's, that's not going to give you a championship. <clears throat> so when we build this thing, we build our systems out. 
that's the goal is to be able to beat everyone that we're able to play. Beating the, beating the best though would be, you would think that would trickle down or is it everybody's different? Everybody's kind of... Well, there's different schemes sure. and different systems and you know, you have to understand what our players can do and how that's going to adapt to help you put in, in a position to succeed. But um, of course, there's certain systems that we're going to have to have answers for, uh, especially within our division. However, you know, there's different schemes throughout, throughout the league. And, uh, and ultimately, inevitably, you're going to see those guys, you mm -hmm. know, fill in whatever team you want. So we have to be able to build a style of how we play, you know, to be able to beat, you know, anybody and everybody. Hard to say in February what that's going to be, I would imagine, right? Yeah, I mean, look, stylistically, it's going to be a lot of what you see in the past from sure. units that I've been responsible for. And offensively, people ask me that all the time. But it's, the principles of that are the same. We're going to be attacking, phys you know, physical as heck, take advantage of our players' strengths, build it around the quarterback. I mean, those are principles that are going to be here forever. Those, those are good questions for the, the next OC of the Seahawks, wherever that might be. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what's your next three weeks look like? Is it part of that? Is it part of getting on the same page? Is it part of getting the staff in place and having it done? And Combine is what, the 26th of February? Sure. Like that? Yeah, so, we have yeah. our work cut out for yeah. us. But it's a, it's a fewfold. One, like I said, get the right people on the bus you know, so we can put a game plan together and move forward. And then, you know, there's a lot of relationships in the building players included that, you know, we're going to have to, I want to, I want, I want to spend a lot of time with those guys and understand, you know, where they're coming from, what their goals are moving into the off season. And then, you know, we're cutting down a little bit of time here, off season programs, you know, sneaking up on us. Mm -hmm. So uh, putting a great plan together, you know, so we can build a ground, great foundation moving into training camp. What's your phone like? Is it like you're texting with players? I mean, is it just totally a nonstop ding, ding, ding? Is it just nonstop? It two is. phones now? It <laughs> is. Yeah, I thought I was really popular, and I talked to a couple of friends that had gotten jobs, and uh, they blew me out of the water. So right. you know, always, always in a humbling moment. Yeah. Uh, will you watch on Sunday? Will you? Are you? Are you football? Are you gonna watch the Super Bowl? <laughs> I'll, I'll watch the game. I'll you, watch the game. Yeah. <laughs> Begrudgingly, he says, right? You want it. You wanted to be in the game. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely.